can see, I got my STM power steering reservoir and coolant reservoir for the six. So pretty excited to put this stuff on. This thing is really cool. I've wanted this for a really long time, but yeah, now we're just getting around to getting it, which is awesome either way. We've got the install stuff, I guess. Here's the hoses. Um, That one's for Here's the rest of it, so very nice, very, very nice. This is the uh, coolant, so too bad you can't see the levels in here, but this thing is nice either way, so I'm pretty happy with this. I just clean these up. This is, uh, had a little scuffs on them, but it cleaned up pretty well. So, like I said before, this one's for the um, coolant. It'll go like that, actually. It'll go like that. And these caps are actually made perfectly because they stop exactly where they need to go and they won't thread anymore. So, that's pretty dope. It's the same thing for the power steering pump or uh, reservoir. Um, I figured because this one has three holes, This is the one for that one. But of course I have the JDC hardware, so we won't be using any of these. We'll just be using this fitting. As far as the uh, power steering reservoir goes, I did just find a hole in the cap. Not sure if it's supposed to be there. Um, it's machined pretty, or it's drilled out pretty perfectly. And it's right behind the uh, O-ring that goes between the cap and the reservoir, so. I just sent STM an email, see what's up, if that's supposed to be there or not. And if all if, it, if it's all checks out, then this will be going on. But we're gonna go put this one on because it's ready. Just moving the car a little closer to the garage. All right. Check it out. I'm gonna put the phone on the stand, grab that put it in all right so that is replacing this bottle the other one this one but for now we're gonna do this one there you go i got my hose hooked up already just because i figured it'd be a little more difficult to do it while it's in there but After messing with this for a little bit um, it doesn't fit so you see here obviously these are the two bolts that this needs to bolt to because the motor mount and this power steering line is just in the way if you try to put it on these two um, so as you can see here even with power steering reservoir removed these holes don't even line up 
The reason they don't line up is because the motor mount is actually in the way. So even if you were to shove this on back here, which you can't, because the motor mount slides in under the bottom of the reservoir, which if you see on that top or the back bracket, it's now scratched it up. Um, so good job, STM. After messing with this for an hour, uh, finally got it to work. It's not bolted in all the way. It's going to be here soon, but this thing pretty much fits like ass going in. The fitment is fucking horrible. Um, so I'm about to pop this off real quick and I'll show you exactly what I had to do to get this to work. If you have the AC bracket in here, this thing, this condenser I'm assuming, um, you're gonna have a hard time just because this bracket right here, as you can see, I shaved it down it sits right up against it and without shaving it well it won't fit in there this power steering hose or this this ac hose actually where it bolts in right here right there you can see it touches this um not really sure how that's going to work while it's on but we just took it off for now um this hole also had to be drilled out and so pretty much if this hole was pushed down just a little bit it might work but i pretty much drilled out the hole a little bit bigger and i shaved down just a tad um under here you can see this bracket is clearly touching the motor mount um, the motor mount obviously won this shit's aluminum but yeah the powder coating definitely didn't help and you know the overall design didn't really do it justice. So if you see this right bracket, it pretty much needs to be pushed out like two millimeters maybe. Like it's it's honestly not even a lot. It just needs to be pushed out and then the hole drilled in a little bit closer right there and then that'll be perfect. Um, these front two bolt holes, they're fine. It's a little weird to get it in, but really this, this back one is the problem child. So yeah. All right, she's finally in. I uh, I ended up shaving that side down there, drilling the hole out a little bit bigger, and shoving it in. So the fitment, I'd say prior to install, six out of ten. Once it's fitted in there, and you like do what you got to do to make it fit, you know, it it's fine. It's in there. So don't see any issues now. At least time to fill it up all right it's pretty much in i do gotta say this is probably my favorite thing these caps they go and they stop where they need to stop i think that's fucking amazing that's filled up about three quarters of the way and we're gonna wrap this up i'm gonna do that power steering another time just because i'm getting cold and i want to make sure i routed the, the lines the wrong way so course cool and just went straight onto the floor but hopefully this is all sorted the correct way and should be all good